All right, so check. There are a lot of items in Red Dead Online to buy, a lot of items to loot, a lot of items to pretty much just put into your inventory. But in this video, I'm focusing on the items that you buy and the ones you do not want to buy at first in Red Dead Online. This is mostly so for new players. Maybe a few vets can get some out of this. I don't know. Most vets we know about these things that pretty much suck, pretty much you don't want to put your money into. They either provide you no value at all, or it's just so minuscule to the point it's no point in fucking even bothering with shit. So I got a little list of items and things that you just don't want to buy in Red Dead Online, at least when you first started out. You know what I'm saying? Avoid these items at all costs. So without further ado, let's get right into it. For the first item on my list, man, the first item you need to avoid is the pocket watch. The pocket watch is perhaps the most unused, the most non-necessary item to have in the game. It's used to, you supposed to select it out of your inventory and it tell you the time. But at the end of the day, all you got to do is press down on your D-pad and you can look in the little box and it tell you your time, the weather, what part of the map you in. If you have a bounty, what level bounty, you you know, what price of bounty is on your head and all type of that and all type of stuff like that, man. So the, the pocket watch is literally trash. Like people don't use it. I even bought it and I didn't even I don't even remember that I bought it. I actually thought I didn't have this, but I bought it and it costs a gold bar. Saying that gold bar, bro, is not worth it. It's not. It's, it's trash. Like, don't buy the damn pocket watch, I'm telling you. Number two, for me, the binoculars. Now, the reason why I say the binoculars is because no one uses them. I understand that some people might use them to scout or, you know, hunt animals or, you know, like hunt animals to see, like, what level pelt an animal is or something like that. But to me, they're just not necessary. They're not something I personally use at all. I don't use the binoculars period but i know some people probably use them but for me i would warn you not to buy them because they just not that necessary and you can pretty much use eagle eye or you can aim at a weapon and you can aim your weapon to look through your scope of your weapon or something like that and see the the value the level quality of animal that you're about to hunt or you can even go into looking into the refined binoculars. Even though I don't suggest you buy these neither, if you was to buy any pair of binoculars in the game, these would be the ones I would suggest you buy. They are a little more expensive. You do have to have the collector's roll leveled up a little bit, but I would definitely suggest that you buy these because of some point of fact that when you scouting enemies or looking for um, herbs or animals or collectibles and stuff like that it, it, it tends to glow they tend to glow they tend to flash it makes it easier to see things especially like if you're looking at it at night or something it makes it easier to see so if you do go for a binocular go for the refine leave the other bullshit ass binoculars alone they not fucking worth it i'm telling you your ass gonna be mad you better listen to me you're gonna be mad as shit another thing y'all don't need to buy another thing y'all need to avoid buying at all costs is meats and herbs why the hell is you buying meats and herbs? Do not go to the butcher. Do not go to the general stores. Do not go to your catalog and buy meats and herbs from these places, bro. Because literally, they everywhere. Just hunt. Just go and kill you a deer. Go kill you some pronghorns. Go kill you a, a wolf, a alligator. Just kill whatever that you can possibly hunt. You can pretty much hunt every animal in the game. Kill you some animals. Walk around the frontier. Look in Eagle Eye, find the little white particles floating around and 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 loot the or put pick the 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 herbs and stuff, bro. You literally have no reason to be buying this stuff, bro. Unless you just have all the money or something, or you just really don't like hunting for whatever reason in the game. Then I I kinda understand that. But for me, bro, just hunt. Just pick the herbs. You really, you, you're going to save so much money just hunting and picking herbs, man. And it's fun. Like, why won't you want to have fun hunting and picking herbs? Well, picking herbs is not fun, but it's way more enjoyable than spending a dollar and 50 cent per meat or a dollar or 50 cent per herb or some dumb shit like that. Just hunt them and pick them. It's simple. It's not hard. Another thing, bro, novice and established road horses. I got the Norfolk Roasters as the example but you definitely don't want to spend your money on the novice or the the or the the established roll horses you pretty much want to get the what it is extinguished or whatever it is the the level 20 roll horses because they have the best stats they are the more they are like the superior of all the horses and it's like if you're going to be spending 
hundreds upon hundreds of dollars on these horses anyway, I suggest you go for the right horse. I know I said that horses really don't matter in Red Dead Online, and they don't, but at the end of the day, unless you really like the coat of horse, then if you really like a coat of horse, then I would say, you know, just go for it because sometimes the Road 20 horse not as good looking as maybe the level 15 horse or the level 5 horse, you know, whatever levels that it was, level 10 horse or whatever, then I understand that. But if you're really looking for the horse for the best stats, if you're really looking, really looking for the best stat horse, then go ahead and get you one of the the the, the level 20 horses, I'm telling you. And then, boom, you can have your horse like Chucky. You're all right, boy. The next thing I would suggest all players, new and old, maybe, like I said, vets probably know about this, but especially newer players to avoid, is the collector mouse that you can buy from Madame Nazar. Stay away from these shits, bro. She scam you. I'm telling you, bro. She a scam. Do y'all know what the word scam mean? Y'all know what the word scam mean, right? She scam you, bro. Just use the, the Gene Roki map, the RDO collector's map, man. Just type in, go to your internet, go on your phone, type in, type in your Siri bar or whatever you search for on the Android phones and type in RDO collector's map. It's going to pop up. It's going to be the first one on there. I might even leave a, um, a link in the description so you can go straight to it. And it show you literally everything on the map that day, that time. And you can just follow the map, man. Just follow the map. It's easy as shit. You don't even have to worry about none of the other bullshit. I'm telling you. Stay away from the collector maps, bro. She scam you, bro. She scam you on a lot of shit. But definitely them collector maps, stay away from them, bro. Rockstar tend to give you a lot of them through the battle passes with the outlaw passes and stuff. Anyway, so don't buy them shits, bro. I'm telling you. Don't buy them. The next one, bro, I suggest a lot of y'all stay away from, bro, is the naturalist pamphlets. Stay away from them shits. Bro, um, bro, when I tell y'all stay, bro, I would, to be honest, I would tell y'all to stay away from anything naturalist. I would tell y'all to stay away from that whole fucking role unless you're really just interested in legendary animals. But I know a lot of people want to experience everything that there is to experience in Red Dead Online, and that's cool because I'm the same way. But stay away from these pamphlets. They literally don't provide you no fucking. <laughs> they literally don't provide you no fucking use, especially after you done leveling that shit up, bro. You will not do that shit no more. That shit boring. You, I'm telling you, bro. That shit is trash, cream, ass cream. You ain't gonna fuck with it. I'm telling you, stay away from them pamphlets, bro. That's a lot of money that you're spending on some bullshit that you ain't gonna use. Them shits is trash. Them shits is a big ass cash grab. Rockstar know it. That bitch Harriet know it. Stay away from them shits, bro. Another one, bro, is the vitalism studies. St bro, please stay away from them shits, bro. Do not spend 8, 10, 12 gold bars to become a fucking horse, a deer, a boar, and all this old dumb shit, bro. That shit not worth it. You only, If you ever do it, you're only going to do it one time. See that that shit trash and never do it again, bro. I'm telling you. I turned into a rabbit one time, and I was just like, wow, I would kill. Man, I, man, I kill that bitch. I fuck carry it up, ho. Man, I'm finna get her ass, boy. Don't she look like old girl? Don't she look like Mary Lou Who from the Grinch? Oh, my mama, she do. She ugly as hell. Why would you want to get her your money anyway? What's she going to do with it? What she need with gold? She ain't spending on nothing. She ain't had a bath in 30 years. Why would you get her your money? Stay away from that, bro. Don't buy that shit. I'm telling you, that shit dupe. And last but not least, this is not an item you shouldn't buy. This is more of a tip, man. At the end of the day, once you get all your necessities, once you get everything that you want, everything that you need, then go crazy. Eventually, in Red Dead Online, like I said, bro, you're going to get to a level and you're going to get to the uh, a stature to where you're just going to have so much money in the game. And you can just buy whatever you want. If you want to be stupid and buy the naturalist, the, the, the vitalism studies, just to be dumb, just to... Maybe experience it because you never experienced before. Go ahead. Just spend your money when you got the money. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, at the end of the day, you're going to come to a threshold where there won't be shit to buy in the game. And you just buy bullshit. Or you just you have so much money to where you can just experience everything in the game. And that's pretty much where you want to be in the game. But still, for newer players, I'm just giving y'all this little mini list of just things y'all should avoid at first. Once you get the money, buy whatever the hell you want. Spend it on whatever the hell you want. Play it in poker and buy dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Buy all the tonics you want just so you don't have to craft it, say that time. Who cares? It's your money. Use it when you need it. <laughs> no bullshit. But all right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. And then also put y'all job in this video. It's highly appreciated. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, be easy. Take care.